Hey guys, Rafferty Refine here. All the basics you need to refine your skills as a chalk painting artist. Today we're going to be diving into primer. We're going to be talking about the different kinds of primer, why we need to prime, what primer would be best for your project, and application. Let's get going on that first one, different kinds of primer. So generally when you go to pick out that primer and you walk down that aisle and there are so many different selections, it can get very overwhelming, especially if it's your first time trying to pick out some primer. So let's figure out a couple differences here of some similar products that you'll see. So that way you'll know your way around primer a little bit better. So first you'll probably see a shellac and a water-based primer. So they're both probably gonna say something like a stain blocker and sticks to all surfaces. One is going to be a shellac base and one is going to be a water base. So your shellac base is going to be the one that's most durable, something that you're going to want to seal for those really tough jobs like the tannins, the wood knots, the water rings, it sticks to anything, you know, that is like the main go-to. The water-based is a little bit more gentler. It covers the minimum stains. So something like crayon, grease, things of that nature. So the difference also between the two is smell and cleanup. So the shellac has a pretty strong odor, whereas the water base isn't as bad, and the shellac you're going to be needing a little bit more of a vigorous cleaning versus the water-based one. Um, these are also white in color, so when you're painting something darker, you know, generally there will be like darker primer underneath, so you know, you can either tint primer or you can get a darker primer. So not all primer is tintable, so you're going to have to check that out and um, research that when you're purchasing it. Those are just like the very quick rundown of those two main products that you're going to see at your hardware store. So painting over a slicker surface like laminate and plastic and glass, there is actually a primer for that and it's called Slick Stick by Dixie Bell. So that you can purchase online or through your local retailers, so, you know, buy specifically for something of that use. Moving on to number two, why we need to prime to begin with. So as we were kind of already touching base on, the stains, the stain factor. Um, you know, primer is used to cover numerous amounts of stains, but it's also used for a variety of other things. So the priming, it will even out the surface that you're going to be painting, which is beneficial for getting that really smooth finish that a lot of people try to achieve. And on that note, it also prevents the peeling, the cracking, and the fading. There have been certain studies where um, pieces are painted, and one with primer and one without, and then the one with the primer, the color lasts longer, it's more vibrant, and it's, it doesn't, it's not as dull as the one without the primer. So there's, there's something else to consider. And lastly, it provides the base for the paint. And so what it's gonna do is just cancel out any of the color and really give your piece the true color that it needs to be. So those are some key points that we want to consider as we move on to number three, which is what primer would be best for your project. So gathering what we already know about primer, I would suggest that taking a look at your piece and seeing, you know, seeing the type of wood it is, the type of surface it is, and the color of the paint that you're going to be painting, and narrowing it down from there. Today I'll be painting in um, this Zinsser Shellac Primer, but I'm also going to be using the spray can. So stick around for the application part so you can see why. For, so for this one, it's not necessarily so much that it's a bleeder, but it's the odor. This has been sitting in a storage unit for a while, uh, since then accumulated quite an odor, and so I want to seal that in and um, obviously not make that so fragrant. So I'm going to be using this um, stain and odor blocker. And um, so let's go ahead and get into that application. What the spray one is good for is when you have any kind of spindles, it's really good to just kind of and get it taken care of. When you're spraying it, it really just ends up penetrating those areas a little bit better and then applying it with um, an applicator. So you'll get to see the difference between those two products. 
on how they apply. So that'll be kind of fun. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. You don't miss out on any future videos on refining your skills as a chalk painting artist. So I think this is ready. Uh, let's go ahead and get spraying. Okay, now that we've sprayed down our primer, we're going to be applying one to the body of the vanity. So, there are a number of different ways that you can apply primer. Um, so, it generally just depends on what you want to get dirty and what primer you're using. So we're doing shellac primer. I generally like to just save old brushes and use those to apply. And for you guys, I will be testing out all of them. So, I will be showing you how it is to apply with the foam wedge that um, a lot of people like to apply primer with because you can just um, swipe it on and then toss it. A lot of people like to do the chip brush for those same reasons. So a lot of times for bigger spaces, um, the roller is really good. And then of course, you know, my jam and my favorite is the old brush. Um, I like this because I can just reuse them and I'm not constantly just buying things and then throwing them away in the trash. Although sometimes this does come in handy as well. So it's just up to preference. I will be showing you all of these so you can choose for yourself and see how they all apply on something like this. So let's get started. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. the type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time you try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once i fell but now i'm strong i'm ready for the rematch Never underestimate the power of a brush cleaner. So all I did was rinse this with a cleaning agent while combing it through and then it like more vigorously but then um, it'll clean all that shellac out of your brushes and you don't have to throw away your brushes. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once I fell but now I'm strong I'm ready for the rematch So this is what it looks like after 24 hours I generally like to let my primer sit for that long um, just because working with chalk paint you're working with a lot of water and when the primer isn't set properly um, that water can affect it and, and it can kind of start to have a peeling underneath um, which will just cause your whole project to come to a complete stop and then you're going to have to sand and kind of start all over. So best to just kind of wait it out and that way you can see it also if you need to do any touch-ups. I did clean this before I started the priming process. Um, cleaning is a very important step. I'll be linking that video if you'd like to go see how to properly clean your pieces. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and share if you found some value in it. Um, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Also don't forget to subscribe so you can refine your skills as a chalk painting artist. Come visit me on my other social media platforms. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I'd love to see you there, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.